What's up, everybody? Happy Thursday. Welcome back to another installment of Mr. Eric Reads. Here we are, as promised, with Judy Shackner's Skippy John Jones. And I've been told that these are quite the collection of stories, so I look forward to sharing these with you here on Mr. Eric Reads. Every morning, Skippy John Jones woke up with the birds. And this did not please his mother at all. Get yourself down here right now, Mr. Kitten Bridges, ordered Mama Junebug Jones. No self-respecting cat ever slept with a flock of birds, she scolded, or ate worms or flew or did his laundry in Miss Doohickey's bird bath. The lecture went on and on, as usual. You've got to do some serious thinking before you leave this room, Mr. Fuzzy Pants, said his mother. And just what it means to be a cat, not a bird, or a mouse, or a grouse, or a moose, or a goose, or a rat, or a bat. You need to think about what it means to be a Siamese cat. And stay out of your closet, she added, before closing the bedroom door. But once he was alone, Skippy John Jones began to bounce and bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones and I bounce on my bed and once or six times I land on my head. Ouch. On his way down to earth from a gigantic big bounce, Skippy John Jones shot past his bedroom mirror. Holy guacamole, exclaimed Skippy John Jones. What was that? said his mother. So, nothing, he said. But he went up again, and again it appeared. Then, using his very best Spanish accent, he said, um, My ears are too big for my head. My head is too big for my body. I am not a Siamese cat. I am a Chihuahua. Back on land, Skippy John Jones climbed into his toy box and rifled through some old junk. And he put on his mask and sword and he climbed onto his mouse. Skippy John Jones began to sing in a muy muy, which means very, very soft voice. My name is Skippito Fresquito. Cap, cap. I fear not a single bandito. Cap, cap. My manners are mellow. I'm sweet like jello. I get the job done. Yes, indeed. Oh. Back in the kitchen, Juju Bee, Jezebel, and Jilly Boo Jones were helping Mama Junebug Jones make lunch. Can Skippy John come out of his room now? asked Juju Bee. No, answered Mama Junebug Jones. Mr. Flutternutter is still thinking. In fact, Skippy John wasn't thinking about being a Siamese cat at all. With a walk into his closet, his thoughts took him down a lonesome desert road, far, far away in old Mexico. Not long into his journey, a mysterioso band of chihuahuas appeared out of the dust. Hey, caramba, who goes there? asked Skippy John Jones. We go by the name Los Chimichangos, growled Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones. Who are you? I am El Skippito. The great sword fighter, said Skippy John Jones. Then the smallest of the small ones spoke up. Why the mosquito, dude? asked Paquito Taquito. 
I go incognito, said Skipito. Do you like rice and beans, asked Pintolinto. See, si, I love mice and beans, said Skipito. Hmm, he might be the dog of our dreams, whispered Rosalita. Perhaps, said Tia Mia, if he knows the secret password. Leaning toward Don Diego, El Scapito half sneezed, half spoke the secret password into the chihuahua's very large ear. Achoo, Pichu! Bless you, said Don Diego. Gracias, says Capito. Then it is true, decreed Don Diego. Yip, yippee, yippito! It's the end of Alfred Bezito! Scapito is here, we have nothing to fear! Adios to the bad Bombadito! Then all the chimichangos went crazy loco. First, they had a fiesta, and then they took a siesta. But after waking up, the chimichangos got down to serious beesness. Upon using his paw, Don Diego drew a picture in the sand of the great Bumblebito for Scapito to see. A hush grew over the chimichangos, so great that one could hear a whisker drop. Alfredo Bezito, whispered the crowd. El blempo, bombito, bandito. Si said Paquito to Tito. The bandito steals our frijoles. Not your beans! cried Scapito out. He was very outraged. See, si, Paquito continued. Red beans, black beans, Boston baked and blue, cocoa, coffee, kidney beans, pinto and jelly too. And now he comes for us, Poquito added. Por qué? asked Scapito. Because we are full of beans too. Then Don Diego stood tall and in his most somber voice declared, Yo quiero frijoles. Huh? asked Capito. The dude just wants his bean bags, said Paquito to Hito. And you are the dog for the job. Me? asked Capito. Then all the chimichangos turned towards Capito, the great sword fighter. But poor Scapito had no time for a plan because in the blink of an eye, a gigantic shadow darkened the landscape. The chimichangos scattered in all directions. Vamonos, Scapito! Or, it is you, the bandito Ulito, they cried. Scapito stood his ground, but his legs shimmied and shook like jello, and his teeth chattered like castanets. Then, in a muy, muy soft voice, he said, My name is Skitito. For Skito, I... Fear, no, no, not a single bandito. But Alfredo Bezito flew straight for Scapito until the bean-eating bandito hovered only inches away from the great sword fighter's face. Holy frijoles, cried Scapito as he thrust his sword into the air. Suddenly, pop, went the bandito, landing on Scapito's sword. And quicker than one could say, chihuahuas, cheese, and crackers, every kind of bean came spilling out of Alfredo Bezito, the bumblebito bandito. Then all the doggies burst into a song. Yip! Yippee, yippee, 
Our hero is El Skipito. He's the dog of our dreams who delivered the beans and now we can make our burritos. But back home, there was such a ruckus coming from Skippy John's room that Mama Junebug Jones and the girls just had to find out what was going on. They raced down the hall into the kitty boy's room. Banquito, crescito, papito, scapito! Just in time to see Skippy John's closet exploding. Then out flew Candy, beanbag doggies, and the kitty boy with his birthday pinata on his head. Skippy John Jones! Everyone cried. Holy muchasitas, he said in a muy muy soft voice. Mama Junebug Jones lifted Skippy John and covered his head with furry purry kisses. <sighs> what am I going to do with you, Mr. Coco Pugs? She scolded. That night, when he was supposed to be going to sleep, Skippy John began to bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I am Skippy John Jones with a mind of my own, and I'll bounce on my bed for hours. I know I'm a cat, but forget about that. Says goodnight, Skippy John Jones, called his mama. Buenas noches, mi amigos, said Skippy John Jones. The end. This was Skippy John Jones here on Mr. Eric Reads by Judy uh, Skatner. Hope you guys enjoyed that story because the Herman family allowed me to borrow about, I think, three or four more in the Skippy John Jones series, which means that tomorrow and Saturday and Sunday, we're getting Skippy John Jones on. So hope you guys enjoyed that story. As always, please continue to take care of yourselves. Please wash your hands and please be kind to everybody that you come in contact with. I miss you guys, and I hope to see you around soon. Till then, see you around.